And welcome to Why Are You an Entrepreneur? The Trials and Triumphs. I'm Maureen Edwards. I'm the founder of Eight Simple Steps. And for those of you who turn in every single week, you know that this is bringing you rock star entrepreneurs to have rock star conversations so that if you are an entrepreneur, you can pick up some words of wisdom, some best practices, inspiration, and learn about what your fellow entrepreneurs are bringing to market or move and shake it and making it happen. If you're watching the replay, welcome. Glad to have you here. And tonight, I say it every week, you know that, no exception. Mm -hmm. I have Maria Feaster. She is the CEO of a brand new company called iMind. And I'm very excited because she is also the Eight Simple Steps Entrepreneur of the Month for August. So uh, Maria, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. Hi, Maureen. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've been watching your journey as we've been working together, and I'm so incredibly impressed. And I have to say, um, you know, I asked the, the first question right out. Why are you even doing this? Because at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is so hard. So why have you decided to pursue basically a career in owning your own business? Yeah, so I think this this comes from when I was a child. Uh, actually, I think my father inspired me. He had a entrepreneur spirit. So... Um, I remember that when we were kids, he he used to ask my sisters and, and me uh, about an idea. He was like, oh, we just need an idea. Let's create an idea. And he always wanted us to 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 come with, with some ideas and, and think about that. So from when I was a kid, I was thinking, oh, I would love to create a company sometime. But mm -hmm. then when I started, uh, studying the MBA, and especially when I took the concentration in an entrepreneurship, that I learned so valuable information, so good knowledge. I had excellent professors. And, and I, I, was, I was amazed with, with that information. And I, I decided I had to do that. With this information, for sure, I have to do that. But um, since I, I have many relatives and friends in the, in the mental health industry, they are uh, mental health professionals, I, I wanted to, to, to find out with them if, if they would like to work with me and what they would think about an idea to create a, a mental health app. So that is because I am here creating an yeah. app. Absolutely. So did you work in the corporate sector before deciding I'm going to jump and, and become yeah. an entrepreneur? You did? Yes, I, I worked over 20 years as a systems engineer and project manager. So I, I wanted to use those skills and I wanted to, to, to make some impact in, in the world. And that is because I was thinking, oh, I, I would love to use the, the knowledge of all these people that I have around me and combine with, with, the, with my skills and create something that has an impact in, in the world. And this is because we created Dynamite. Yeah. So tell me what has been the biggest difference between having that corporate job and now being an entrepreneur? Also, especially right now, I yes, I, I think is is working with with a, a limited budget is is hard, of course. But mm -hmm. working with an excellent team that every day helps you and that where where we have a collaborative environment when where we. We every day we we try to do our best. It helps a lot, of course. But um, it's it's nice to to be your own boss, and it's nice to, <laughs> yeah. to yes, it's it's nice to have flexibility, of course. But of course, it's a lot of work. You have to to wear multiple hats. It's challenging. Oh yeah, the oh, other okay. absolutely. The, Working in in, in corporate in, in, that, in a company is also challenging in many ways, 
But uh, I am creating my own company here and, and hopefully we will succeed. You will succeed. And you know what? You're controlling your own destiny. And I say, if you exactly. want to work for corporate and build somebody else's dream and make them rich, go ahead mm -hmm. and work hard to do it. But, you know, you can take that hard work and an idea and do what you're doing and control mm -hmm. things. And uh, it is risky. I mean, let's let's call it what it is. It's a lot of hard work and there is risk involved. But I always say big risk equals big reward, right? <laughs> So tell me what has been, I mean, you just said you had to, uh, you know, wear a lot of hats and that's part of the game here. I mean, you're not going to get away with that, but what has been, I think the, the greatest challenge for you besides the limited budget, I mean, everybody has budget constraints. What's been like the greatest challenge that you feel like you've had to overcome in this process? So... I, I think one, even though I took the uh, marketing classes during the MBA, uh, that helped me a lot. Anyway, I, I wanted to have um, a better marketing plan. And, mm -hmm. and, and I knew that I was lacking that, that experience. I, have the, I had the theory and I needed someone with the experience, with the knowledge, and 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 that is when when I talk with with you and and, and that it, that was, that has been an important uh, support. Yes, you just said something really important though, and I think entrepreneurs out there need to recognize you can't do it all, and you recognize you know I took this and this is great knowledge, but I actually need to know how to implement it. So knowledge is good. But how do I actually implement it? And you went and sought help. And I think that's a big gap out there is mm -hmm. people just kind of struggle through it, try and figure it out, abandon it completely and not get anywhere. And so kudos to you where, you know, you said I'm serious enough about this that I've got to find some assistance to get me on my way. So um, and I have loved watching this entire process with you. So mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like I'm part of the company. Of course um, you are. <laughs> yes. I am watching this so really from like an idea and just mm -hmm. watching it in the last year has been, you know, amazing. And now it's going to be mm -hmm. launching. Yes. Um, so I, I want you um, to tell people a little bit about what iMind is. You alluded to mental health, but I'd like for them to get an idea of the type of company you've built here. Yeah. So I, I mean, is the, the only mental health that is 100% dedicated to, to empowering the Spanish and English speaking community to, to, to feel more optimistic, joyous, and, and recharged. So it's, with this app, uh, the users will transform their body, their, their mind, and and their, 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 their spirit, they, they will see a transformation. Uh, of course, as with anything, the transformation is not one day to, to the other day. Of course, it, it takes a process. But uh, with, with I mind, you, you will have a, a lot of benefits, a lot of benefits. Um, for instance, you, you, by listening to the meditations that we have in the app, you will be able to start the day more optimistic. Um, you, you also um, uh, will have the uh, possibility to, to listen to uplifting material in several topics. So we have um, several classifications where you can go and, and understand and learn and, and improve in your day-to-day -day. topics like stress, stress management, anxiety, to sleep, how to sleep better and easier, um, gratitude, resilience. We have several topics. We also have other topics like leadership, sports, health, empowering yourself, time management. And also we created a... Um, um, a classifications for specifically for entrepreneurs. I, oh. when I was, 
Yeah, so when 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 I was creating the, the company, of course, this is, is challenging to create a company. I knew that this could be a lot of work. I knew, but I didn't know that it would be like this. This is <laughs> nobody <yeah>. knows. <laughs> exactly. So so I I was like, oh I I I did I need more time. I am a little bit stressed. I I have to to get better. I need to have to feel more calm, more tranquility in my life. I need need optimism. And I told my team, why why not? Why don't we create a, a classification, some topic for for me, for for the entrepreneurs? There is a need here. So so that is because we created a classification for entrepreneurs and and this is an amazing experience that that you can live and an amazing transformation that you can live while while you listen all this all this about these topics. Well, I love what you have said because this is true entrepreneurship. You identified a need by adding the Spanish speaking aspect of this. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's just a huge component because you saw a gap out there and that's what entrepreneurship mm -hmm. is. Then you were experiencing something yourself. And that is typically when I think big ideas come where you're like, I got to solve my own problem here. Other people mm -hmm. must have it. And as an entrepreneur, I don't know of anything more stressful than that. If anybody told us what we were going to be facing, I don't think anybody would start a business. Exactly. Because there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety. So the fact that you have said, I'm experiencing this, you mm -hmm. know, I'm sure the others are too. So I love that, that aspect of it. Yeah. It's really good. So, you know, creating an app is not the norm that when I'm talking with business owners, a lot of the businesses that are being created you know, it's coaching, consulting, um, you know, course creation, things that are not that technical. And so I'm curious as mm -hmm. to why, you know, do you just wake up one day and go, all right, I'm going to create an app? I mean, you could have done a website, you could have done a blog, right? You could have done mm -hmm. um, a podcast. So I'm just curious how the app came along. Yes, yes, especially because I, I come from the IT background. Mm -hmm. I am... Um, and I, I talk this, this will be something amazing, creating an app where you can find what we call in the app, my oasis. You can find your oasis, oasis. You can find your oasis. And, and we wanted something that will be friendly and easy to, to the users. So mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, if if it is in if, if it is a, a website will be that will, will be nice that I, I thought that it would be nicer to have an app that you can go wherever you want to go with your cell phone and 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 listen to the med meditations while you're in nature or while you're in the comfort of, of your home or when, whenever wherever you are. Um, but yes, what what uh, helped me to to make the decision to create the, the app is because I am from the I, I have the IT back, background, and of course I have in my team uh, professionals uh, experts in, in this creation and development of mobile apps. So. That's yeah. great. Yeah. You have a, a team of people experienced in this. And yes. so I have to ask you, Maria, what is one thing you expected to happen or you had a vision that it was going to go a certain way and it didn't? Initially, my um, my idea it was more ambitious. I But we since we needed like more budget to develop the my initial idea, we thought, okay, we will develop them, de develop that, the, the idea, but we will go on phases. So this is phase one. This is a, a phase one that is a super nice app uh, with excellent quality. And, um, and eventually we will go to phase two. So, so are you only in phase one and you've got more to come with phase two? Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, so you have some things that you're going to be doing that will evolve, like you're exactly. going to scale. 
Yes, yes. We we have a, a vision for for our app in in the future. So yes, we will evolve, and, and we are we are always thinking about innovation. That is That's key great. For, for our company. Yeah. That is absolutely great. So mm -hmm. tell me what your goals are for just this first like couple months because you're going to be launching the app officially like next week. Is that you know yes. by the end of August, right? Mm -hmm. We are launching the, the app at the, by the end of August. Initially, we will launch the beta, uh, the, the beta product. So with the beta product, uh, people uh, will be able to go to the beta to provide advice. But basically, that is the same uh, app that, they, that we will launch in, in production. If there are some observations, we will analyze the observations. But... Uh, the idea is that with beta, uh, the users that go to beta, uh, they will be able to enjoy the seven days free trial of our app with amazing uh, material. And they will be able to evaluate our app. They will be able to purchase the app also with a 10% discount. So that is what is coming first. We hope to have a beta for about uh, 10 days. And after that, we will launch uh, the, the app in production. So you will find the productions in the Apple and Google stores. Um, and, and the way you, you can find the, 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 the seven days free trial is through our our website, imindnow.com, or through LinkedIn or Facebook, where we will uh, invite you to, to hit a, a button to download the apps for Androids or for iPhones. Um, so that is what is coming soon. Yes. And then what, what is... What next is that um, after we launch the app, we will continue bringing new material to the app. It's not that, oh, you just buy, uh, you just purchase the, the membership and is it? No, you, you mention uh, monthly or even weekly, we will be launching more material. So every time you will have the opportunity to enjoy more material. So that is what is- That's what great. We, we are planning, yeah. And, you know, I was really surprised at, that the cost of this is what, like a dollar 79 a day? Is that yes, what it, it comes it down just, to? It is just one dollar 35 cents yeah. a week. A week? So, a week. I mean, that's, that's crazy. That really mm. is, I mean, for everything that you're offering here, I have to say that's a really good value. I think people should mm -hmm. definitely you know, be, be taking advantage of this. So, so, yeah. you know, you mentioned marketing a few minutes ago. And so mm -hmm. I'd like to know, you know, if there is a marketing strategy that you've already put together, is there something out there you could recommend to people that's been working, um, you know, for you to, you know, get people just to know that this is coming? Um, you know, what, what do you plan on pursuing as far as reaching your ideal audience? Mm, so we uh, we are in Facebook and in LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, we uh, and every every week we we have we have a marketing calendar and every week we will be uh, announcing the new material that is coming. But also we are going to to talk about mental health. And it's not just talking about mental health, but it's based on uh, scientific research. We have mental health professionals in the company. So uh, we have that. And um, we also, of course, we have the uh, our email marketing in place. And we have, um, what else we have? We have the... Um, I think maybe this type of live stream could be a great idea for you too. Yes. I, 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 I mean, imagine having conversations with mental health 
professionals, you know, just like what we're doing and talking about, you know, what what's happening out there and, and different best practices or things they can do. Um, and I, I say to people all the time, I think live stream is so underutilized because mm -hmm. look at the numbers, 80% of people on your platforms here would rather watch us like mm -hmm. this than read your post. So here we do a lot of posting, Maria, but I mean, you and I have talked about, you know, people, if they want to really elevate their business and get, I think, more exposure out there and, and build more no like trust, I think what we're doing right now, live stream is definitely yeah. something to take advantage of. Um, so, so tell me, um, like I said, you, you do have some aggressive stuff that you, you want to be doing. Um, this year. Do you want to share, and I don't, I don't want you to share anything proprietary or if this is confidential, but um, what are your goals for 2024 as far as maybe how many members you would like or, um, you know, scaling? Like, what are you saying 2024 is going to look like for iMind? Yes. So we are thinking that on, in 2024, we will have 1,000 uh, users. Wow. Yeah. That's that's great. So that's the goal. 1,000 users. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hold you to that, right? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm going to hold that to you. You're yes. going to sign yes. a contract. Yes. I, I'm <laughs> going to come back at the end of 2024 and let everybody know we have 1,000 users yes yes so. but if you but also for 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 our, our future we we just don't we don't want just to to think in 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 terms of numbers but also in terms of the people and in terms of a movement because it is this is not i mine is not just an app i mine is a movement we want we want to create a movement the movement of optimism the movement where people improve in, in mental health. You don't have to be a person who feels stress or to have anxiety or or to or a person who has problems sleeping to come to my mind. Is is um this this company is creating this movement and we, even within the app you can see that we have community. We have groups where we we want that people. Uh, support each other, where people can share information to uh, uplift and, and, and feel more empowered every single day. So we want to make a change in the world. So yes, we of course, we want to succeed. We need a, a, a revenue to, to, to live and, and to do every time better. But we are thinking that with this company, we want to make a change in in the world. I love it. I love it. This is exactly what entrepreneurship really is. It isn't vanity numbers. Granted, mm -hmm. for you to continue, you need to bring in income, right? We get it. Mm -hmm. But I, I love that you have a bigger, more macro mm -hmm. vision here. So mm -hmm. what would be some inspiration that you would give to I think a new business, you're a new business. So for somebody who is new to entrepreneurship, what type of inspiration would you give them? What would you tell them? So first I will, I will tell them that they, they need to, sometimes people have ideas, but they need to share the ideas. They need to share the ideas with their relatives, with their friends, because usually in that way, we empower ourselves. And we say, oh, yes, I like that idea. Like in my case, oh, I love your idea. Oh, and let's share it with this and with that. Oh, let's do that. It's wonderful. And let's grow the idea. So that is one thing. The other thing is to do the due diligence, to do all the marketing research, to do a comprehensive uh, mark, uh, business plan that includes, of, of course, a, a marketing plan. So I, I, I will advise them to, to analyze the competition and to learn about the industry. I, I also will advise them to, to work with you. I, oh, thank I learned, you. Learn a lot working with you. And now that I belong to the, to the app club, 
it's an amazing uh, group where people help each other, where people motivate each other, empower them. Um, and, and we have a lot of resources that we can use to, to grow and succeed in, in, in our business. So those are basically the, the advice that I will provide them. And also, of course, yes, that, that as an entrepreneur, we have to, to wear multiple hats and we don't we don't we cannot have the whole knowledge of everything mm -hmm. so we have to, to seek for uh, the advice from experts in the fields that where we are not strong in that way it's it's easier to 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 reach our goals that's brilliant advice i say it a lot but it's only the serious smart business owners, I have to say, who will take, you know, take me or other people who can help them up on it. So I just want to say that and thank you very much for your kind words. But I say to entrepreneurs, we are just the people to help you implement it. OK, it's up to you if you want to implement, Maria. And I have to say you are brilliant at implementing. OK, we could talk about stuff. You write it all down and you go do it. Okay, and that's gonna be my big advice out there is, is follow what Maria's doing. She's going to be launching an app that came about as an idea, got lots of feedback, did her due diligence, has a team, and is willing to go for it, but also sought help, right? And I just, I think it is so incredibly important that you're gaining the knowledge, but you are the best implementer that I have mm -hmm. seen mm -hmm entrepreneurship i gotta say you you go ahead and you listen and you take feedback and you know kudos to you maria it's very impressive well, thank you thank you so much marie i you're appreciate it it's it's a it's an honor what you, you say to me i know that you work with many people so thank you yes you it, has, it has been a, a journey it, it has been challenging and and for everything what we do in the company, we try to do our best. And it has been extremely hard. But at the same time, it has been extremely exciting. And, and this is something that we made with, with passion, with, with love, and with hard work. And that's exactly what people should be saying with their mm -hmm. company. Absolutely. And I can tell you're loving every minute of it. And that's the whole mm -hmm. idea here is to mm -hmm. love what you do. Mm -hmm. Well, I plan on having you back in next year because we're going to hold you to those goals. But I love the fact that it isn't about the numbers. This is about the people and it should always be about the people. Um, mm -hmm. And I love that you're you're doing a movement, Maria. So kudos to you. So please tell people one more time where they could go ahead and sign up for the beta yes. or you know, or get the, the download. Yes, so they can go to the website imindnow.com and we they can reach us in, in Facebook too, fa Facebook in iMind in Facebook and in LinkedIn. So okay. uh, if you say, if you go to the, our website uh, www.imindnow.com, you can send us your email, and in that way we will notify you uh, a couple of days before we launch beta and when and before we launch to production, and you will be the first to test iMind for seven days for free. Awesome, mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, Maria is going to be back in the next year, but please reach out to her and experience iMind. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just about done for tonight. And I want to say thank you to those of you who have tuned in or you're watching the replay. This is all about really connecting with entrepreneurs who are walking the same journey that mm -hmm. you are. So they're overcoming challenges. You've got challenges out there. Please reach out to me if you're finding that you're still spinning your wheels and you're still not converting customers. That's the lifeblood of any business. I'm all about converting customers simply and there is a process and it's not hard to do. You just gotta do it. 
So mm -hmm. let me know if you need anything. And uh, Maria, I will see you. Well, I'll see you in Up Club soon. Um, yes. So good luck with the launch next week. Yes. Thank you so much, Marina. Thank you so much for all your support during this process. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Good night, everybody.